Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. And as you know, every month I take a question that was submitted through the website and we answer it here on video. You're welcome to submit a question if you've got, got one that's really burning in the back of your brain. Uh, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and you can submit it. All right, uh, so this question says, in your video wing scapula, what are those shoulder blades doing? You addressed how one shoulder blades may be winging while engaging in poses like Chaturanga Dandasana if you don't have an underlying condition. You mentioned engaging the serratus anterior muscle to prevent scapular winging. All true. I have a wing scapula sustained while doing a shoulder opener of lying face down with arms crossed under me. Shortly after I had given birth last fall when my body was full of the relaxant hormone. It is getting better, slowly, but what specific poses and exercises will safely strengthen my serratus anterior? Should I hold top of Chaturanga Dandasana without lowering? Will lowering injure it further or strengthen it? All really good questions. Um, there's a couple of things. <sighs> Typically, when you see winging of the scapula, serratus anterior is, is the most highly involved muscles. It's not to say that there are no other muscles that could be involved. Uh, but it is the most highly involved, especially when there's no underlying condition and then it becomes postural or functional in terms of high plank, chaturanga, where you see the scapulas popping off of the back. In those cases, it's always serratus that needs to be engaged. But what you're talking about is an underlying problem. You did this pose where you cross your arms and then you lay on top of them. And then after that, it seems that your scapula is winging more. I'm assuming you're seeing it that way, although I'm not sure how you're seeing your own scapula. I'm assuming somebody's pointed it out to you, or does it just hurt? So there's a little bit of un, uh, lack of clarity for me specifically with your situation. Um, the other thing you've mixed in is that you were pregnant and relaxing in your body. Typically, the relaxin should have no effect on your serratus anterior muscle. Um, it shouldn't have effect on really any muscle. The relaxin is specific to working, uh, softening those ligaments around your pelvis. It can still affect other ligaments or feel that way, but it's supposed to be specific to the um, collagen that is put together around the pelvis. But anyway, so that may or may not have anything to do with it. We don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um, so the other thing I want to point out is, it could also be that you overstretch your rhomboids when doing that particular movement. That's kind of what comes up for me is you, you might have overdone something else because rhomboids does play into how that edge of the scapula fits together and, and, and gets into relationship with the spine. So you may have to do a little bit of strengthening of rhomboids while also focusing on serratus anterior, just to throw that out there. Um, in terms of how to strengthen um, serratus, um, the hardest part of strengthening it and doing it um, through movement is the lowering down part in Chaturanga. And I outline a whole bunch of stuff with serratus anterior in, I've got a series of posts on sun salutations and the ones where you um, lift up, jump back is probably sun salutation two or three. That's the post name. Um, we talk about the jump back, the high plank, and the lowering down, I think, all in one, um, in one post there. Go ahead and look at that one, because instead of focusing on strengthening your serratus in one particular place, you want to strengthen serratus throughout the practice in multiple places so that you're not overdoing it in any one place. That way you build up its strength over time. That's, that's true generally for dealing with serratus. In your case, um, you should also do that. but maybe take a look at uh, rhomboids and some other things that may be playing into it. Could even be trapezius. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. All right. Uh, hopefully that gives you a few other ideas other than just serratus. Um, yeah. If you've got, uh, if you've got a question yourself and you want me to answer it on camera, by all means, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question. Have a good one.